Hey Grace Church, this is Pete with another video for us to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus and to hope in him while we're in lockdown. One of the things lockdown has done for me and coronavirus has done to me is to just show how fragile so much of our life is. Like for example that disorientating experience of going to Asda with my shopping list and realising that the stuff I need to get just isn't in the shelves, it's bare. And kind of wondering, you know, okay, how am I going to get food uh, to survive just in case uh, one of my housemates get ill and we have to isolate and we're not allowed out of the house. Coronavirus has made me realise just how fragile I am. And it's given me an opportunity to trust that Christ is sufficient for all of my needs, not just in theory, but in reality. And that's a really good thing for me, to know that Christ is everything I need. A few months ago, a friend introduced me to the first question and answer of the Heidelberg Catechism. And uh, with the help of Google's autocorrect, I was able to search it and it's been going around my mind. And the first question is, what is your only comfort in life and in death? Your only comfort. So you can't spread the risk or hedge your bets. You've got one hope. What is it? And the answer is that I am not my own, but that I belong in body and soul, life and in death, to my faithful saviour, Jesus Christ. And I've been thinking just how good it is to belong to Jesus Christ, the Lord of the universe, the creator of the universe who rules all things. I've been thinking like, uh, like those British citizens who were stranded in other countries in the world, uh, and how the British government uh, marshalled its resources and sent planes to go and fetch them and bring them back because they belonged to the United Kingdom. They, um, they held one of these. They were the responsibility of the British government. And I've just been thinking how much better it is to be the responsibility uh, under the care of, to belong to Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe. A few weeks ago, before we went into lockdown, uh, the guys at Rooted were reading through Ephesians. And Ephesians 1, um, verse 13 and 14, says this. You also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. Those are amazing words, aren't they? A seal guaranteeing our inheritance until those who are God's possession are redeemed. That is an amazing comfort to have while we're in lockdown, to know that we are not our own. We don't have to rely on our own resources, but we belong to the creator God who made us, who bought us with the blood of his precious son and who will rescue us in life and through death to be part of his kingdom forever. That is an amazing news and it's well worth holding on to. Let me say a short prayer for us. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the amazing privilege it is to belong to you through the work of Jesus Christ his death on the cross on our behalf, his righteous, perfect life that fulfills the law when we have failed. We thank you so much that we can relate to you through him. We thank you so much that when we believed in him, you sealed us with your Holy Spirit, a deposit guaranteeing our redemption. Father, we pray that you would help us to hold on to that during this time of coronavirus. And we pray, Father, that you would help us to point others to this hope that we have that they too may put their faith in Jesus and become part of your possession, part of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.